Education can no longer be about the three R's, rote, repetitive, and routine. We are no longer training people to work on an industrial assembly line. If America is to gain competitive edge in the global arena, we must create a fact-based workforce. A fact-based workforce. Flexibility, adaptability, creative, and technology-oriented. And in doing so, there is a gap to be jumped. Technology has leaped light years ahead of educational pedagogy. And understanding how to use new technology advancements to enhance the learning experience has not always been obvious. However, we have found that faculty hold the key to new pedagogies, even though they may not fully understand the technology. And surprisingly enough, those faculties who lack technology skills seem to have the greatest pedagogical insights into the use of new technologies. They are thinking with their brains and not their fingers. In the process of working with our faculty, we have discovered a useful methodology for creating new pedagogy. We call this methodology blending technologies. What is true about science is true about teaching and learning. One way of making a discovery in science is to mix two different fields. For example, if you mix algebra with geometry, you get algebraic topology, a very rich field used in the study of relativity. In our example, we mix live media, databasing, a design team, and instructor input to produce high levels of pedagogical progression. During this process, instructors act as intermediaries, and ideas bounce from one instructor to another. Here is a very simple example of how this works. Bob Kinney asked for an interview software package so that his committee could interview candidates online by webcam and that these sessions would be recorded and played back. Then Mary York said, I saw what you did with video interview software for Bob. Can I video text chat my students online? And to Bob's program we added a text chat component to our video component. Then Debbie Dempsey and a million other instructors got tired of carrying videos around and asked us to put a password protected YouTube up. And from the video storage system we created for Bob's program, we added a menu component. In creating the YouTube, we realized that we could complete a web TV station requested by Gary Zolo of the Hebrew Archives by adding a scheduling component. Then Kevin Corkin, my boss, said, hey, you remember what you did for Bob? I want an asynchronous system so that we can do interviews at any time. And we built the database system necessary to do that. I will show this example later. Notice Kevin, my boss, is at the top of the graphic. Then Hillary Landworth saw Kevin's interview software and suggested that we create a poetry Spanish recording program so her students could record assignments online. Then we hit two degrees. Liftoff, technology transfer to the community. Alex Blaine, the president of Blaine Pharmaceuticals, asked us to develop a homework monitoring system so that he could shut down his expensive office complex and have everyone work from home. This system is presently under development. So you can see one idea bounced off another. But let's take a look at Kevin's interview software. So you click on there's three options, step one, step two, step three, which is a webcam interview. Let's go to that. It has a password system, so not anyone can interview. And click connect to webcam. And when you do, you get the security message telling you that you're about to stream over the web, and you allow that. And it's pretty early in the morning, and there I am. And you can hit an audio explanation to hear... Uh, And from that point, you can move on with the interview. This technique works really well and enables us to produce innovative ideas very rapidly. However, we need the platform to make them happen. Our model or platform proposes three levels. One, an award grant winning student design team. Two, a faculty learning community that acts as pedagogist 
and intermediaries, and three, digital presence, which takes center stage by using A, C, D, M, S, accelerators of change that don't make sense. This model is designed to take center stage of the global arena at a minimal cost. The global principle here is to bring down costs by utilizing a highly qualified inexpensive workforce. There is a huge untapped reservoir of talent at your university.